Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Thursday, the 21st of March. It's 48 degrees out here now, which feels quite warm, actually, but it's a light rain, lots of fog. Man, did it pour down that well. You guys heard some of it when I was out there playing around in my little, my little area, but um, I think today's supposed to be pretty much the same thing. Well, I think for the foreseeable future, it's supposed to be. You know, weather only goes about 10 days out or so, but anyway, it is what it is. It is springtime. You'll have weird weather, these super nice days, and then it could even snow or sleet, like we were saying last night. But anyway, it's not doing any of that now. It's just kind of kind of one of those uh, very wet Pacific Northwest days. It's uh, very comforting, actually. You'll miss these days when in the middle of summer and it never rains. Can we just have one of those days? <laughs> Anyway, let's jump in the old war wagon, go to work. Welcome to the day. 50 degrees, rain off and on most of the way to work. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a kind of wet drive. Mm -hmm. You have those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama, it is yeah. Thursday. It is two more. Man, that's crazy. It seems like it's just the other day we're talking about this Thursday. I know. Wow. Nice. Do, doing your little tooy two thing there. Yeah, <laughs> well, Mama? Yes, I'm Let's go in there and earn our key. All right. All right. Have yourself a wonderful Thursday. You too, sweetheart. I'll see you as the day goes by. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. Well, due to the simple fact that suddenly I'm sitting here <laughs> my little hobby table, um, there wasn't much to film. Or I was very busy. There wasn't too much to film at work. It's just working on BMWs, two different, two different things, running a bunch of measures, plans. Figured one out, still got another one to figure out. But I've been talking about this. This is Kelly's F-150 body. I've been talking about this for a while. And that is getting the lighted, um, uh, put the lights on hers, but you still use her black, uh, whoa, trying to look at the camera and point at the same time. That kind of weirds you out. So... When I ordered the tires for the TC8 Marksman Red Cat, they had it in stock. In all fairness, I kept looking for quite a bit, and they were back ordered, but it's been months since I looked last. But as you can see, I'll get out of the package here. It'll be easier to, easier to look at. But what I want to do is put these light buckets on that black roll bar. See, they're just stickers. They're not real. I think somebody's rigged those things up where you can make lights out of them. It's just easier to buy the kit, the wiring, and then the wiring plugs right into the the stock Pro Scale lighting kit that I have on there. So let's open up the box here. Oh, first, I got two sets of the uh, um, 2.2 Canyon Trails. That's what's that come on Kelly's truck, came on my truck. I don't use them because they kind of look clownish on these. I, I just don't like the look. And I see most people that drive these things usually uh, have uh, a 1.9s on there of some sort. But if you're out bashing with some friends, they do roll over a lot of stuff really good. And um, yeah, they, they really go through some stuff. So if you're going goofing around with a bunch of friends and stuff, I'll probably put the stock wheels on there. And these canyon trails just work great, but I like the work the way they work on the Red Cat. Unfortunately, the Red Cat um, steel wheels or aluminum that I have ordered um, not going to make it by tomorrow. And at first, it says you know Saturday. I thought, well, if it says Saturday, I might get lucky. They might show up a day early, you know, coming FedEx from Arizona or uh, yeah, Arizona Red Cat. I was going to go, wait a minute, Traxxas is Texas. We're not talking about Traxxas, but the wheels from Red Cat that I'm going to use the Traxxas tires on. Um, anyway, um, I got a notification about halfway through the day today saying your update on your shipping is they're not going to be be there until, until Monday. So if they showed up on Saturday, I'm not driving to work to get them, so I'm not going to get them until Monday anyway. I'm just hoping... Then they might show up tomorrow, Friday. So, anyway. 
So here's the light bar. And as you can see, the wires run down that trough there. I just hope they're not in there too tight that I could damage them or, you know, they ran some kind of hot glue or something in there. I don't think they did, but I'm going to pull it apart. And there's two screws that hold it on. And then the end pieces are just kind of held with pressure in that little groove. So uh, if I can get those cups out of there or buckets out of there smoothly and transfer them to that, that'd be cool. I'm sure most people would like to have the chrome, but I think the black looks cool and nobody else is doing that. So that alone, that's why we're doing it. Plus Kelly likes the black one. So that's that. All right, I'm quite sure what I got here, but it looks when you split it apart, it's coming up that rail running through the back side of that. Oh yeah, it just all pulls out. Probably if I threw some light at that, you guys would actually see what I'm pointing at. Looks pretty straightforward. I just hope the buckets come out of there. Hope it's not actually molded into it. So uh, let me tinker a little bit more here and see how she comes out. So it comes apart in four pieces. You got the two rails, and this is actually what the screw goes in that holds them together, and it's kind of pinching them all together. But them wires are very tightly stuffed in that groove. It was kind of scaring me pulling them out. I don't know what they used to push them in there. At first, I thought it might have been hollow, and you just start kind of slide it through. But it's got, I can't make it show up on camera. It actually has these little little pinched areas that kind of hold the wires in place so they can't slide around. Oh, there you can kind of see them. See the shining inside there? They're like little flat pieces that, that the wires wedge into. And then I'm thinking, well, it! it's sitting on this base. I don't want that chrome inside there. But if you look at the stock ones, they're sitting on a, on a, chrome, on a chrome base inside there. Can you see that in between? So it's gonna be the same thing. It'll look look the same. It just, they'll be LEDs. Cool beans, man. Okay. She pops right out of there. It's kind of tricky getting all the wires back in there and the little sharp edges. There's the LED lights on the black roll bar. I didn't bother putting the fake ones back in. Yeah, these things, you'd have to do some, well, you could probably drill and push some wires through there, but it'd be almost impossible to put those on. I didn't put it together. It takes two seconds to take it apart and do it the other way. But now I got, this <laughs> dog, get all this back together. And all that stuff is, uh, it's all pretty, pretty tight inside there. Lots of tight spots in there. So I'll work at getting this thing together. Light her off, that'd be kinda cool. On this truck, it's gonna have roll bar lights. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Here she is, fully functional. I had to go in through the Traxxas link and set up per the parameters because at first the um, low beam and high beam had, and this is just my preference, so I have low beam, it comes, it has the rock lights and of course all the lights. Oh, I need to look at this thing too because um, the brake light, brake lights weren't working. I must have knocked something loose. I need to figure out which port that plugs in. I might have jiggled that thing or something. I've got running lights, no brake lights. But uh, anyway, um, by default, it's, you get low beams, and low beams up there and then high beams it goes high beam high beam but the difference between low and high for the rock lights is so so small that i have it set that when i put the high beams on they come on together so uh i got my k10 sitting out there maybe we'll we'll light both of these things off and see what see what you think it's really cool <laughs> so i have it set so when high beams on the rock lights come on because uh, usually when I have the high beams on, you're 
you're trying to get maximum light anyway. So, uh, and I can, like I say, I can control it with the, but I'm using my iPhone 15 to record this and that's what I got the Traxxas link on. So I can't use my, my other phone to control it. I guess I could set it all up, but that's kind of a pain. But yeah, Kelly, Kelly likes it. I'm going to get all the lights going here and have her come in. Because it, we need to get out there and do a goodbye. So we can eat dinner or have dinner and stuff. Yeah, eat it. That's <laughs> what we're going to do with it. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's, let's get this thing lit up and see what you think. Yeah, buddy. That looks, that looks right proper on there. Heck yeah. <laughs> Oh, I had the thing off. I didn't check my port for the... Well, I need to go look in the manual and see which one's the tail light or the brake lights. But um, we'll do one other quick little experiment here. And uh, But anyway, that's going to be great. It'd be cool to get both of these out. I hate the little dots you get with when you use a phone. That's, that's just what happens. You can always tell when somebody's using a phone for something because you get a bright light and you get those little little dots, you know, the sunshine or whatever it may be. It's because, I mean, look at the size of the lens on a phone compared to a regular camera. It's amazing they work as well as they do. It's quite shocking, actually. That looks cool. It's kind of a different, I noticed that with the K10, too, that the, um, the roll bar lights have a little cooler tone than or color than the than the headlights do but that's all right it definitely gets it done doesn't look so bright because i got bright lights sitting in here doesn't look so bright in here but you take them outside it's it's nuts how bright they are some cool stuff man mm, man these tracks is tracks is, 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 is like you hear a lot of people say they got you know all kinds of trucks and rock crawlers and stuff like that and the old saying with literally everybody once you go traxxas you never go back <laughs> they are the cream of the crop they may not do specifically specialty things you want and that's cool that's why the other models are out there but you want the honda like reliability and smoothness and just everything works except for her <laughs> brake lights at the moment um yeah they're cool but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's do one more little experiment here. So, Mama, what do you think of that? I think that is some cool lights. That's that's pretty wild. Yeah, that's wicked. <laughs> we can see some stuff. Oh in yeah. The dark. We need to do need to go out there and do the tree farm and do some trailing. I know it. That'd be fun. We'd scare up some critters. That's for yeah. Sure. Scare up something. Yeah. But uh, tonight would not be a night like that because it's uh, she's kind of wet out there. Yeah, she's kind of wet and sloshy. See what I mean? The K10 has warmer headlights than the than the rock rock lights and the F150 is doing the same. That's pretty cool. That's way cool. You see, flying over. Of course, your brown actually reflects some light on the roof. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. That black it just kind of bounces off of it. That's wicked cool. What you think on that? I like it lots. Yeah, alrighty. That's pretty cool. And Mama approved. USA. TRX4. Made in Texas. Well, they're not actually assembled somewhere else, but that's where the company's at. That's cool. Mama and I are gonna have to do, do some trail romping now. Funny how I got the things kind of set up exactly the same, huh? Although I got different shocks. Kelly's other than the Fusion Pro and the, the different tire, which is they're the same thing, same tires, but she's got the cool trio weighted wheels and these are just some cheapo things I found. And they fit without, you know, cause there's an issue getting some of these tires to fit because they're expecting super thin, cheesy tires on there, but these whatever Chinese things you got from um, Amazon, 
and they work amazingly well. It's kind of crazy. But um, anyway, we're just sitting here burning lipo batteries for no reason whatsoever. But that's cool. It's amazing how long them things will last. We got them big, full-size batteries in this thing. <laughs> She's got the big old three cell in there. I forget what that thing was. What the amperage was or milliamps. It's big and they're heavy. Uh, those those ones I kind of got by mistake. I didn't realize they're going to be so big. But it gets it done and it keeps that because stock suspension is a little stiff and um, that big old battery it handles it. This one's like super soft. But yeah, much stiffer. Anyway, I think on that, Mom and I. We will rush out there and say a goodbye, have some chow chow, and call it a night. Well, I won't. I'll be up to all hours of night building the video, but we'll call it that's that for that. All right. You know, Mama will be outside in a moment. Well, hello there, you did. Man, it was nice all day today in Vancouver. It started out cloudy, and it was mostly sunny. Yeah. It was nice all day long. Yeah, it didn't rain. You left work. The, everything's nice and dry. By the time we get to the... We're going about around Carroll's Bluff. You just start getting little sprinkles on the windshield. By the time we hit Longview Kelso, you know, you had them on intermittent swipes. And by the time we hit Castle Rock, it was full-on torrential craziness. It was a downpour. And then the last few miles getting up here to the house, we thought, well, the dogs can get out and run and... Have a little playtime, and you know, it looked like it, it rained at some point, but the roads were riding up, drying up. We pull into the car park with that old CRV, and you hear it pounding. It's like, well, yeah, guess the girls ain't gonna, it's, they don't like to be out in the rain, so they go from their pen, you know, back inside, and then they, you know, do their little runs out here, you know, go out and do the donkey things, you know, mm -hmm. and um, that was it, they didn't get to play either. Poor things, yeah. Mama likes her, yes, her lights and stuff. That is no, so cool. We need to uh, get out there and do a nice nighttime thing. run out in the woods there and oh, light the world. Up. It's yeah. crazy because when you turn those things on, I think you can alter it and play around stuff. But I have it set so that um, when you turn the high beams on, the uh, the roll bar lights come on. It's crazy. Well, you guys, you know, seen seen it with the K10 enough times. You know what it's been like, you know, so. Anyway, both of them things together, I'd be, yeah. people be thinking there's some kind of alien out in the woods. I know, I'm going to do some adventure. It's crazy. Like when you walk out there, you know, when it's dark, I just carry the the truck, just hold it in my hand, just point it forward. That thing just lights up the world out there. I just skimmed across your glasses there. Yes, you That did. could have been a black eye, one, I know. one wrong move there. You done good, though. It's just a little. <laughs> yeah, that was a luck. Or do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, knock me out. Sorry. Caught on film. Wife abuse. <laughs> Husband abuses wife. Elbows are right in the eyeball. I uh, know. News at 10. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I think on that, enough rambling around, listening to me talk, we're going to roll to that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Thank you. All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Well, Friday tomorrow, too. Yeah. yeah Friday. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. We see you. Bye bye. Um.